People who have been to prison. What unexpected habits have stuck with you since being released? Serious. Working out by myself. Used to pay for gyms. Drinking milk. It was served with every meal. And I still do that. And I read more and watch less TV. I was only allowed outside twice in a month's stay. I walk outside just to feel the sun often since then. 1. I absolutely trust no one. That is why I paid my lawyer another 5k to handle my probation stuff because I worry that my PO might duck with me. It is unheard of to have a lawyer represent you through probation. But I do not even trust my lawyer 100%. 2. I always look for ways to hide stuff. 3. I keep to myself. 4. I lie with much greater ease because honesty isn't always the best policy. In fact, it's a liability. 5. I have a plan B in place. There being a plan to take myself out before going back to the joint. 6. I am always figuring out if someone is lying to me by counting the number of times they contradicted their values as well as the values they impose on you. I still have a very hard time making genuine connections with people. I got so used to keeping people at arm's length. According to my wife I give great personality but horrible friendship. And she's exactly right. I don't really let anyone in. Not really. Not even my wife. I used to love people. I was so trusting and engaging. I always sort of automatically assumed that everyone was my friend. Now. It's the complete opposite. I always look for the flaw. I always look for the hidden agenda. Guarding my food plate. Occasionally I get asked why I hunch over my plate with my arms around it. Trying to stop. Assess. Size up. Potential threats from people or groups wherever I am. And stay aware of their position. Dumb myself down and speak like a dropout so as not to draw attention to myself. If you look more attractive and sound smarter than someone with a power trip insecurities. You're gonna draw their attention in a bad way. This one will sound really dumb to a lot of people. But it's one minor changes in my habits that stuck real deep. In prison your pants don't have pocket. When I was younger and didn't know what to do with my hands. My normal reflex, like most I guess would be to simply put them in my pocket and leave them there until I needed them. In prison. This is not a possibility. Your hands are just there hanging awkwardly by your side. My best friend is the first one who made me realize that even after getting released I've never put my hands back in my pocket. I've learned to live without putting them in my pocket and it's simply stuck. It. Wow. I thought that was a dumb comment and yet it's the highest rated comment I've ever got on Reddit. Thank you all for sharing your experience and views with me. The one thing I notice on a day to day basis is how uncomfortable I am standing behind people. As a trustee I worked around the guards a lot and you had to be at least 10 feet back to stand behind them. So when I stand directly behind people I feel I make them worried or uncomfortable. Also as non-threatening as I believe I appear, I feel myself having to try to not appear as a criminal in social settings. Whether I'm at a store or a person's house I automatically feel like I'm looked at as a criminal who is up to no good even though nobody knows I've ever been a criminal in any way. Also routines. You get into a daily routine in prison so I carefully plan out my days. If anything happens outside of the routine I get extreme anxiety, making it difficult to spontaneously have fun with people. I was in solitary for two years. I spend most of my time in my office bedroom, which is not too much larger than my cell was. It has been over 14 years since I was released. You'd think I'd be over it by now. I hate being around people. I'd rather text and I'm. I don't trust people. I count on no one but myself. Also, I hate the smell of men's speed stick. The crack whores that came in would use it instead of bathing. I can't smell it without gagging. Not me. My stepdad. He did 15 years under the Rockefeller law. He still showers with his boxers on. It makes me sad. He's been home for over a decade. He's also very OCD. Which I think prison just amplified his actions. He will rearrange everything. Literally. Every day. Especially when he has nothing to do. He will continue to fix the same thing and harp on the same thing for weeks. And. He's very. Macho. He always shares stories with us. Three women. How no one ducks with him. How we know he'll duck someone up for whatever reason. Forget it when a boyfriend comes over. It's alpha male time. 
Things seem to go from 0 60 really quickly. At least in my mind. In prison. If you are about to fight, there are very few words. You just do it. When someone is talking telling me a story. In my head. I'm like yay, yay, yay. Get to the point. I still wake up crazy early. It is really easy to daydream. And pretend I'm flying. Or in outer space. Exploring the bottom of the ocean. ETC. After 9 months in the hole. I learned to super duper concentrate as a means of therapy and to keep my mind off of the present. It's been 10 years now. And for a while. 2-3 years. It was hard to have a conversation that wasn't filled with swearing. I lost a lot of vocabulary by speaking in prison terms and not societal terms. That bothered me the most, I think. The fact that I dumbed myself down to relate and fit in with my surroundings. Then upon release couldn't have a common conversation with a stranger without straining to not curse. A friend of mine hesitates before walking through a door because he is in the habit of having doors opened for him. I use a folded up sheet or blanket as a pillow now. Regular pillows just feel too big and soft. Read my first book cover to cover while in jail. Fell in love with reading and now read a book a week. Making awesome recipes with what you have. Prison taught me I can make burritos with just ramen pickles and chips. I have a love of Mori and Jerry Springer shows. Any kindness towards me I treat with uncertainty. A lot of people don't do something good for you unless they see something in it for themselves or want something in return. Fear of courthouses. I dread being inside them because I get flashbacks of that awful feeling of your life is in the hands of someone you don't even know and you have no idea what he's about to do to you. Judge. If I have anything in my hands even slight illegal I find a very safe stash spot in case of emergency. I'm only 22. I've spent about 2 years locked up. Now I really like to stay home and watch Netflix or play games. I feel like I don't connect with people anymore. Colon. As I read these posts, it occurred to me, ex-cons go online. That's a very good thing. Stay connected to humankind. Most folks are good when they can be. Mostly making potato vodka. Playing trash can hockey and selling dope to the guards. Before prison I liked to stay in bed after I woke in the morning. Now I just jump from the bed, make the bed and get dressed. At 6am, I only go shopping twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, days we were allowed to buy food and stuff. I guess hobbits die hard. My uncle spent 20 plus years in prison and has been out for 10 plus. He still refuses to allow anyone to cut his hair. He's cut it himself ever since going in because letting someone else do it makes you too vulnerable. Funny thing is I was a prosecutor and I cut my own because I, or my office, prosecuted a lot of the local barbers. You'd be surprised at how many drug deals and related shootings take place in barber shops. Sleep with a wife beater, tank top, over my eyes to block out any light. My mother-in-law can't be touched, especially not without warning. And if you try to wake her up you will get hit. Even after almost 10 years her reflexes have barely dulled. The only exception is my dogs. And her granddaughter. Probably because they are so small. My buddy got out of medium security a few months back and he always watches people's hands. Even his mother's because he is paranoid about someone doing something. One habit that stuck with me was eating as fast as I can. I've been trying to slow down for months but I catch myself doing it all the time. This comes from the fact that we were given very little time to eat and most of the time had very small portions. If I wanted to be full I had to eat fast. Hope there was anything left to be served in a seconds. Then eat that too. It didn't help they were feeding us a vegetarian low protein diet. Manners and treating people with respect. If you ever disrespected a person inside, you'd regret it very quickly. I never had an issue with it when I was inside but it definitely made me more conscious about how I treat and talk to others. This one is odd. But when you're walking around, you do not look in other people's cells because they could be ducking, drugs, or anything. And you mind your own business. Now if I'm walking down the street and look over and accidentally realize someone's window is open, I look away as fast as I can. Basically I just try to keep my eyes aimed where I'm going. I'm always aware if a threat is around and I can read body language extremely well. Not only of a person, but an entire room. I know when something is going down. 
And I've even called it out to my ex-girlfriend before and she was shocked that I could tell that two people were about to fight before it even happened. I don't mind mixing all my food at all. And I can damn near eat anything because part of my time had some pretty itty food. I've never been to jail but my SO has spent time in both jail and prison. The only habit of his that I've noticed that really bothers me is how he refuses to sleep naked. Even when we have a six he keeps his shirt on. It's taken years to make him feel loved in a safe environment where he can let his guard down in his sleep. He's not as serious about it as he used to be but he still rarely sleeps in the nude. Every time I wake up next to him without his clothes on, I smile and pull him closer knowing that he feels safe. My brother was released earlier this year. I'm not sure he's noticed. But he barely looks at anyone in the eyes anymore. His conversations are very short. He's not into gaming as he used to be. And he's even more into working out and reading. Eating 3 times a day. And healthier. I ate more food in prison than I did before I went in and I still lost weight. Also, you're rarely hungry since you eat so regularly which means no overeating and feeling like it. I used to be cranky all the time and would only eat one giant meal a day. Now I feel good all the time and I'm in the best shape of my life equals. Drinking black coffee. When I went in, I didn't have any family or friends to load my books. The money you can use to purchase from the prison store is how I tell people I've never been. I had gone a month or two before making any friends. The only thing I craved was coffee and cigs. A few months in, one of the friends I had made got a friend to load 20 bucks on my books. I had enough to buy a bag of instant coffee. You have to buy the individual sugar packets. So I didn't waste any of my precious $20 on that bushly. Drank so much of it. Sweet coffee tastes so bad now. Also, I still have this insanely bad habit of taking of my socks and shoes real ducking quick if someone angers me. I still poop with one leg out of my pants. Does having nightmares of still being there 5 years after being released count? Cause if so, then that's my habit. I worked as a counselor in a state prison, kindly referred to as a hugger thug by the COs, and I left that job with an intense aversion to people walking behind me. Under any circumstances, I won't even let my wife walk behind me, and I trust her, mostly. Never wanting to be barefoot, even in the shower, I also use my hands to push off the water on my body after a shower bc I used a ritty little towel forever and would do this so the towel could actually dry me off. I will probably never be comfortable speaking to any officer of the law again, and I don't mean that I am monosyllabic or unresponsive. I'm the opposite. I start nervous chatter the entire time while needlessly obsessing over whether I'm in trouble when I have to talk to a cop, which I try to avoid, and I tend to watch them from the corner of my eye to make sure they're not watching me. Sorry, Leos. It's not you. It's me. Don't tase me, bro. Be a man of my word. In lockup, your word is all you've got. If you aren't a stand-up guy inside, you are nothing. Keep my living areas clean and organized. Inside it's easier because there's less to worry about. But that's one thing that I learned to appreciate. The peace of a clean house. Scheduling my own time. Or keeping busy. I have a work schedule. Sure. But my time off needs to be structured as well. It's rare that I feel good about just daydreaming or not being productive in some way. Sure. There's time for video games. Facebook. ETC, but not until I've gotten all my other needs settled. In prison, dead time is torturous. Thinking about outside, freedom, ETC, I had to keep my mind occupied or I'd have gotten pretty depressed. This might get buried. Does anyone have any tips on helping someone adjust to the outside world again once they get out of prison? Well I know someone who doesn't like to play cards, because he said he said that's about all you do for fun in jail. Getting agitated when someone gets too close to me in a line anywhere or in other words. Invading my personal space. I go way out of my way not to talk to or help any law enforcement officer. Still can't eat a goddamn bologna sandwich. Tried once since. Can't do it. I can go a few weeks eating the same exact 4 meals without it ever bothering me. Sometimes it's just eggs bacon. Cereal. Pasta. Pea banj. Same meals on rotation. One of my best friends did 5 years in federal and has been out 2 years now. 
He said he always scans the room whenever he goes somewhere and assess how dangerous he thinks everyone is and constantly keeps tabs of them as they move throughout the room. I can't trust a word that comes out of anyone's mouth. There's always a part of me that thinks they could be lying. It pisses my girlfriend off to no end. But it's something that has just stuck with me. I still get up at 5.30am every morning and I eat my meal quick. I did a 6 month shock program upstate NY, boot camp, to lessen my 3, 1 stroke 2 year sentence. Throw away cause I don't like prison being connected to my normal account. If someone is walking past me, behind my back, I unconsciously make sure that they have continued walking. For example, if they are walking towards my left side, I expect to detect them on my right side immediately after. If I don't detect them where I expect them to be, I will automatically turn to look for them. Been out more than 3 years now, and I still do it automatically. I don't look into other people's houses. There is an alley that runs behind my street, and most of my neighbors do not have fences, including me. I couldn't count the number of times someone has been walking down the alley, looked into my back sliding glass door while walking past, and made direct eye contact with me sitting on my couch, looking into someone's house, or cellar civilians would call it, while in prison is frowned upon, unless you've been invited in or are having a conversation with said person. Privacy is rare and any interruption of it is very much not appreciated. I'm also much more polite in public. Please. Thank yous. ETC. Disrespect is the number one cause of a fight. That I recall. In prison. I always exit elevators or go through doors last. I don't feel at all comfortable having anyone close behind me where I can't see what they are doing. So I spend a lot of time in store checkout lines standing sideways so I can see everyone in front of me as well as behind me. I always sit where I can see the most of any given restaurant. Never with my back to the majority of traffic. I also pretty much only take baths because that was one thing I seriously missed. Being able to tell people no. When I go at a urinal I always put one hand on the wall in front of me. When I work out I do it alone. Fast and always with an eye on everything around me same with eating. My girlfriend says I have a spidey sense that happens before people get in fights in public. I'm never in the fight but apparently before a fight between strangers even happens I already have a defensive stance like I'm ready to get attacked. My brother went to prison and now he's really meticulous about keeping his room clean. Mum said he picked it up then as a method of control. Eating fast. I've tried my best to eat at a slow pace, but before I know, it's 3 months later and I've been eating like that again for the past 2 months and 3 weeks. Also, I question every act of kindness as an ulterior motive. It sucks, but whatever. The fear. People always tell me that it's super obvious that the way I walk shows that I'm afraid of being watched or something of that sort. Now that I'm not cornered all the time, I feel a freedom but it still sticks with me. I sure hope this wears off soon and I can just go back to living a normal life. I done 9 months in 2013. I found the hardest habit to kick was aimlessly pacing. I still do it today. Not having control of the lighting in the room has me putting a cloth over my eyes. Even in a dark room. I can't sleep without one. Having a bottle of water next to me when I go to sleep. Always wearing slippers indoors. Guarding food or eating rather quickly became a common tray of my father's after he left prison. Kinda funny watching him guard his food from his kids. I still make some whack ducking burritos that taste like it. I keep those little salt and pepper packets from fast food chains with me. Before eating the bizarrely bland food there, I'd never really used them before. But after tasting that food I was pissed they only gave me two salt packets for the whole meal. I would have been happy with six maybe. I say everything with my chest now. Let's just say I made a new account name when I got out. I never sit with my back to a door. In fact rarely let anyone be behind me. My bullet meter is tuned to maximum. I do what I say, not doing this can get you in trouble inside. If you're not in my circle yalver out. You get to where you can watch people die and if they aren't your people it has zero effect on you. Probably the worst result of doing time. On the upside, you learn to be someone you like, because there are no distractions to hide behind. 
when taking a dump. Because of close quarters. I heard. Can you add? Then add some water to that it. Meaning. Flush quickly. So. I still do. 45 years along. See ya here. I won't let my food or drink out of my sight for a second. And if it is I throw it away. I also habitually do visual pat downs of literally everyone. Had some friends that would sit around all day playing Magic the Gathering. A couple years in the state pen later. They sit around all day playing hearts. Giving people their space and letting them take their time also not assuming anything.